Let's、uh, move on to the final section, which is the footer. What we are trying to do is to have the link, and also like these are three columns, so we have to give it a three column treatment. But what I wanted to do is duplicate this column and grab it underneath, and then keep this as three. Add another. Now we have three columns. And we, I wanted to duplicate this one, put it right here, and delete this one, this one, delete, and put this right here. So we could do this right here. So the alignment right now is all set to auto, and I think we could do it right here, left, and then this one. In the middle is going to be center, and this one it will be right. Okay, then what we are going to do is do this one. As I said, there is no container inside the container, so we are going to use icon. We are going to add an element icon. And we only want one. Put it in here, and be a heart. And we make the icon color to be brand, and appearance is solid. My our background. We I want it to be this one. So same with twenty percent. So still, we eyeball it, and that's what we want. Shape is, let's make it circle. Yes, and we want it to be a hundred pixel, a hundred s. Six point two five. Let's see if it would be too big. Okay, definitely too big. So let's just adjust it to three. Okay, looks great. Let's make it three. And everything looks okay to me. Then what we are going to do is the space between is eighty, which is a gutter. Make it five. Okay, so now we have everything. We need to change this thing though. Twitter linking and newsletter. Okay. I think that's it. I think we could publish it and see how it all works out. Yep, everything looks pretty good to me. The page padding is actually have another five gram at the bottom because I feel that looks a bit nicer. So I wanted to have a bit more padding. So let's see how can I fix that. I want this to have. Margin at the bottom, which I need five of them. So it looks like it doesn't working, and if I give it a stand, it's also not working. I'm assuming that because there's nothing more below this component, so this container, no matter how large number you put it in. I don't think it's gonna work, so I will make it as auto and figure things out. And what other thing we could do is add padding. Only have vertical and horizontal. So if we do vertical, it would do both sides. So it will look like this, both sides. So this part will also double, and we don't want that, especially. So we need to. Decrease this padding as well, so that's remove it. So how do we remove it? So we make this top margin zero, and also this margin to be zero. Then yeah, it's kind of work this line and our footer, but this part is not working. So we're going to fix this part. And it has bottom. Let's make it a auto. 
Okay, so although means that it inherent with the page, so the page is five frames. So only one of this element, the line and the block, one of them, either of them have auto, then we will keep the uh, margin as five frame. So if you want this to be zero, then you have to put this bottom margin zero and this margin zero, then everything could be zero. So that's why I don't put any uh, class on this block. So because I could manually adjust that and without interfering the upper things. And also this divider, I didn't put it in any kind of treatment or class as well, because this is also a bit different, right? You see that this divider, the margin is zero, is zero but this divider is auto. So I just want to make sure that this would get confused 